welcome back everybody to vlog number four. Uh, uh, we are back at that Walmart location from the last vlog. If you watched it, you knew there was an item that I had to keep a little secret until this episode and I'll explain why, but this is what I got. Woo, Nintendo Switch. So yeah, this is a birthday gift for my wife whose uh, birthday is coming up at the end of November. And when I was filming this uh, vlog number three, this is when I got the gift. And uh, yeah, I have to, just in case she watches the vlog, not showcase it until after her birthday when she gets it. So yeah, finally, finally got one of these things. It's uh, taken a while to get one. We were gonna get one back last Christmas and we put it off, we decided not to. And then January, February came around and we're like, we'll get it with our taxes, you know? We'll just, when taxes come in, we'll get it. And we put it off a little bit with that too. And then quarantine, lockdown. And then you know what happened? All these suckers, all these prices went skyrocketing. Skyrocketing, which is insane. They went up to like six, six hundred, seven hundred dollars sometimes. So it was it was a matter of time. I was like, well, I'm not overpaying for this thing. That's only two ninety nine. So we had to wait patiently for them to come back into stock and back into the fold and lower in price. So they finally did. So I snagged it. Got the the uh, nice Animal Crossing version, which is what the, my wife wanted. So I have to go get the game somehow too for um, so she can play it. But yeah, finally got it. So it should be a pretty good birthday gift for her. Okay, now I got to smuggle this thing into the house. Oh yeah, only a minute and 30 seconds left. It's time to play some Black Ops Cold War. It's out tonight and I have been counting down the minutes and I almost had a heart attack because like 10 minutes ago my internet went out for some random reason. So I was like, you better come back on within 10 minutes so I can play this game. If all their servers are up and not getting overloaded completely, and which it probably will. We'll see if we can get into a game, but you know, classic Call of Duty opening night. <laughs> All right, and it begins. The night begins. So I'm just uh, editing Booster Cracking Sunday video, trying out my new GoPro for the face cam footage with uh, everything, and it looks good. It looks pretty clean. I like how it looks. Um, the only issue is the audio waveform is not matching up. So I, I start it at the point where the audio in my Booster Cracking footage matches with the face cam footage. That way, uh, you know, my mouth isn't not moving with the audio that's on screen and stuff um, and ever so slightly it just goes off course very weird I think it might have to do with the frames per second I'm filming in 4k at 30 frames per second and I'm filming in 60 frames on my camera so I think that's where the issue is so the audio slowly is moving away from where the placement should be so now I don't know how I'm gonna edit this it's gonna be a Way more of a pain in the butt than I wanted it to be today, that's for sure. I wanted a simple video and try out the face cam stuff, and uh, I've done it before, but yeah, it might have been a mistake to have it on 30 frames per second. I'm guessing that's what the issue is. Uh, wish me luck. So I was sort of right. Uh, I looked up a couple of YouTube videos, super helpful. Um, it does come down to the frames per second, but it more comes down to variable, fr variable frame rate. And if you're recording in a variable frame rate and not a constant frame rate, you're going to have lapses and dips and drops and highs and lows a little bit. Here and there, you'll go from 30 to 20, stuff like that. And that's what's going to create that audio. They call it an audio drift. Uh, it's pretty close in my description of, of what I thought it could be. So I, um, I was able to find a program. 
uh, handbrake free to use program that actually will convert your videos uh, to a have a constant frame rate so hopefully this fixes the issue we're gonna see I'm gonna test it out and convert both files the face cam file and the other file just in case because I'm not sure which one actually has the variable frame rate on uh, so that's something I'm gonna have to check when I do future recordings to make sure that's turned off and have it at a constant rate and yeah hopefully this solves the issue unfortunately this is probably it's probably gonna take me a bit of time <laughs> to get going and figure out which sucks because um, I'm already late Marty laid up my up <laughs> and I still have to do recordings for the week which probably won't happen now so I'm just gonna have to get today's done and get tomorrow's done to get a little bit ahead and then I have a couple days off in the week where I'll probably have to do some more recording to catch up <laughs> well the solution didn't work unfortunately so I had to sit and edit through the whole video and readjust the audio as I went which took a very long time so three hours later and I'm finally exporting the video, and it's going very, very slow. Uh, but I am determined to get this video out on YouTube today, even though it's almost almost 6 o'clock. Uh, but it's going to go up. It'll be up. Well, I'm finally uploading the video to YouTube. It literally took three hours to export out and three hours to edit. So I've been literally at this all day, and it's going live at 10 p.m., so... Yay! Gonna be trying to fool around with this GoPro a little bit more, doing a lot of far out deliveries today. Uh, hopefully get into some nice areas where there might be some good opportunities to film a little bit and really see the extent of this thing uh, and what it can do. I was happy with the um, booster cracking I did, uh, dual cam with the, this uh, camera, and uh, it turned out pretty good. It actually looked pretty crisp and clean, uh, but it, I think it had a lot to do with the lighting. The lighting was key. Uh, for that footage. Uh, so as long as I get the, the lighting right, I think, uh, I think it'll look pretty nice. and uh, there's only one road to get like 10 miles away to the location I'm supposed to be going. And I went like five miles down and then there's police officers blocking the entire road telling me to turn around. So now I gotta go back five miles, find my way to a different road and then work my way all the way back down. So this one delivery is gonna take a little bit of time now. obsessed lately with the YouTube channel uh, Geo Wizard. It's a guy that plays uh, Google Earth Maps uh, in a Geo Guesser. It's called Geo Guesser is the game uh, that you have to pay for and you have to figure out the location you're in just by the Google Maps picture that's shown to you. And there's a whole bunch of different formats, but I'm, I've been obsessed with watching this guy and his amazing talent for just looking at trees and knowing he's in Russia when he just has like a picture of a field. And he's like, oh, those are Russian trees. We're in Czechoslovakia or something like, something insane like that. And uh, it's just a, a really cool channel. Uh, but it's got me thinking about the Google cars and the people that take pictures. I'm like, I wonder how often they update those. And I literally just passed one driving home from work here and I literally just passed a Google Earth car, which is crazy because I've never seen one before. Uh, so it's like a fully branded out car with a giant mount and camera on top cruising uh, right by my location and I drove by right by it so I'm gonna have to check and like I don't know when they update it but I'm gonna have to check and see if uh, I got in on on Google Earth right at these certain cross streets where I passed it so pretty interesting. <laughs> About to sit down, relax, play some Cold War for the evening. I'm stealing my kids' Capri Suns to drink while I play, I have no regrets. 
That light is really bright. Just got done playing Call of Duty Cold War Zombies for five hours to try to complete the Easter egg, and we were one step away from getting to the final boss. And uh, we thought for the longest time it was glitched out, but it turns out we just missed one key detail that uh, tripped us up. So we ended up uh, X filling and completing it, but man, five hours of just one game. Insane. I'm going to sleep. It's 2 a.m. Open it! Open well, it! Yeah, open I have to open it. Alright, okay, I'm opening, I'm opening. Wow. Guys are off the coast. Now that one! What is this? Is, is this a switch? Holy crap! Oh, oh, oh. It's a lot. Oh, it's beautiful! Cool! Oh. Wait, call Smash Brothers, Mom! Oh, it doesn't have Smash Brothers, baby. It has a different game. Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, no. <laughs> you cannot have that. But you can guys watch me play it. Now doing some more deliveries. It's like four days later and I just passed another Google car, another one, in a few miles over from where I was at from the other day, but yeah, another one on the road taking more pictures, crazy as can be. It's my uh, wife's birthday, as you probably saw in like one of the last clips, gave her the Switch and she's been playing that all day while I've been at work, unfortunately, uh, but we're planning on having a cool game night with her family. They got her a couple more games we can play and another controller, so... We're aiming to have a cool Nintendo Switch game night with everybody, so if I can get out on time, it's uh, pretty backed up today with deliveries, so I'm trying to cruise as fast as I can. Nope, does not look like I'm getting home early today. So, I just got the new set of Force of Willin, the Epic of the Dragon Lord. Pretty excited to open up the box and a new booster cracking video, so stay it. Well, you would have already seen it by now. I, I keep forgetting that. Uh, but I wanted to unpack it on the vlog uh, because last time they sent me a box from the distributor, distributor I go through, they sent me some cool swag, so I'm kind of hoping that they sent me some more swag. If not, then... Oh well, I just opened the box for you guys, but I'm hoping they sent me like another poster or something. Because uh, I got a poster and a nice uh, nice promo card with it last time. I did get a free gift of just some sleeves, so that's in there. And it doesn't look like it. A lot of, a lot of little stupid foamies. Yeah, no prize, but that's a dope looking box. That is sick. There's a really cool card in the set that I really want to get. It's the most expensive card, so of course I want to get it, but it's the Ragnarok Dragon. The Lord Dragon Ragnarok dude, I don't know, but the full art goes for like 70 bucks. so if I pulled that card, leave a like on this video. Happy day today. I've only been out for a half hour and my car is already covered in mud from all these back roads. I gotta take all these Thanksgiving Day ladders to. Crazy. All done setting up some Christmas lights for the year because of this guy. He desperately wanted them set up, right? Yeah. Because what? Christmas coming soon? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 
I've been on my way to work today for about two hours sitting in standstill traffic. Two hours. Something happened with ice or something, an accident happened, ambulances, cop cars, everything rolling out, and then I guess they had to like salt the highway uh, for a long freaking time. So I'm finally starting to get out of it, but it is insane. And I just see a mound of police cars and all sorts of other shenanigans up about a half mile from me. It's crazy. Wow. Well, we're finally free, and that looked absolutely gnarly. I know there's an ambulance that drove past me and then two minutes later drove past me again on the opposite side of the highway. Hopefully uh, everyone's okay. That's, uh, that's crazy. All right, so new microphone is in. I've been waiting for a new microphone setup. It's probably not the best quality, but it's gonna be a little bit better. It's got a pop filter and everything and a nice arm so I can always leave it plugged in. It's gonna be so much easier. All right, let's see this thing. Oh yeah. Nothing special, nothing crazy. Just, you know, something to keep upgrading slowly but surely, basically. There it is, nice. Filters. Pop filter, beautiful. Well, just excuse all the mess on the table, but here it is, the new mic setup. It's pretty good. It's got the all up and down feature stuff, so I can move it all around, and I think I got it in a pretty good place, so now I'm gonna try to test it out and make sure it sounds good. I haven't done a vlog in like a week actually, I haven't recorded anything, I've been so busy with uh, all my deliveries and stuff and it's only going to get busier, it's the week before Christmas so things are ramping up, uh, but I'm on my way back home from work right now and I just got the weirdest, coolest uh, tip I think I've ever gotten for deliveries. A guy uh, came out when I dropped off the delivery and uh, gave me malted cherry liqueur, homemade, I guess it's their Christmas tradition, and he bottled it up for me and handed me like a water bottle, he was trying to do it fast, he's like, I, I knew you were coming, I wanted to wrap this for you, uh, but you got here right this time, so just give me one second, so he rushed inside the house and like poured me this water bottle full of like 60 to 70 proof liqueur, homemade liqueur, yeah, it's pretty cool, uh, it smells like a really good wine. Uh, so I'm gonna try it try it later and then maybe bring it to uh, my friend's house for a party we're having um, But yeah, so if I, if I die from drinking this random strangers wine well Then you'll probably never see this video <laughs> So we'll see you know, it's funny too just the other day 
uh, I went up to a house and they had a basket full of uh, goodies for delivery drivers, like little bags full of water bottles and chips, so I grabbed one. And uh, I got in my car and the seal was broken on the water bottle that they had provided. So it was freaking me out. It was like sketching me out, you know. I was like, ah, I'm not going to drink this. And I'm like looking at the other stuff in the bag and like the chip bag and the M&M bag that were in there didn't have any air in it. So I was like kind of sketched out. I was like, all right, I'm not drinking or eating any of this because who knows, you know. And now here I am two days later just taking some random person's liquor that they made themselves in a water bottle so maybe a little hypocritical but it's liquor all right i'm gonna try some of this liqueur that i got from a complete stranger put it in this nicer vodka bottle that was empty that i had Ooh, ooh, it's nice i'm just pouring a little bit because i want to save it for hanging out with the boys let's see Ooh, it smells like a wine. It smells exactly like wine, but like a, I don't know, thicker wine, I guess. Ooh, wow. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's definitely heavier. It's definitely heavier. Ooh, wow. That's, that's pretty good. It's got a really nice, smooth, smooth cherry taste. Well, hopefully it doesn't kill me. Like the little lockdown pillow? Yeah? Oh, it's comfy? Oh. Okay. Tell me how you spin your top. Wow. Whoa! Nice spin. Look at this. Oh wow, it's a hanger. Very cool. Back at work again, day after Christmas. It's been an exhausting week. A lot of stuff going on. Very busy. Couldn't post on half my socials for all the YouTube. Um, but I managed to pump out most of the week, uh, except for today. But. <laughs> Yeah, I got some cool stuff. I got some lockdown merch, which you'll see soon. Uh, my wife got me like custom t-shirt and a pillow and she got me this really nice hat. And then uh, I guess some got some baby Yoda pins. You'll see that. That's cool. I'll put it up in the car here. But yeah, it's been a it's been a week. It uh, Christmas flew by. Didn't really feel like much of Christmas except for like the morning of. But I guess that's all that matters. So um, yeah, it's been it's been nutty. Well, it's been a crazy holiday and we're into the new year and I forgot to do an outro for my vlog and I wanted to finish it up and complete it at the end of the year here so we can jump into the new year with a new month and a new vlog at the end of January or something like that. Uh, so it's been a crazy last couple weeks, haven't done a lot of filming, a lot of family parties, holiday stuff and uh, got some new customized lockdown merch here for my wife for Christmas, including this hat. I'm about to go film a Crazy Bone video to start off the new year, kick things off right with some nostalgia. So stay tuned for that. It'll already be out by the time the vlog comes out, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe, show the support, leave a comment down below if you want me to keep doing the vlogs, if you're enjoying them. And yeah, it's uh, glad the year is over. <laughs> And we're on to the next one. Hopefully things start uh, getting less stressful this year. So hopefully everybody out there watching has had a good holiday and is looking forward to the new year as well. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on this another episode of this vlog. And we will see you guys 
in the next one.